One typical method utilized by businesses and government programs to advance their shared objectives is the public-public-private partnership. Vegetable and fruit processors, for example, employ this business model to cut out the middlemen between growers and consumers. These middlemen acquire produce from farmers for a low price and then resell it at a much higher price, making a profit for themselves while the farmers lose money. To combat this, the firm makes direct purchases from farmers of fresh produce through government-run collecting depots. The business has adopted the Lean Six Sigma strategy to boost productivity and cut down on waste. Lean and Six Sigma are integrated in this method to maximize efficiency, delight customers, cut expenses, and boost revenue. Toyota's production processes adopted lean manufacturing technologies for the first time in the early 1990s in an effort to increase the output of finished vehicles. Some forms of waste that contribute to slow production rates are singled out and eradicated in this approach. Similarly, the food industry may employ this method to cut down on waste and boost productivity by applying it to the production process. As a whole, considering their high turnover rates and finite expiration dates, raw materials are among the most expensive and wasteful byproducts of the food production industry. The product holding tank was a necessary component of lean food manufacturing since it allowed facilities to store products for extended periods of time before fulfilling orders. When an order comes in, the product is transferred from the storage tank to the packaging area as soon as possible. As a result, producers can keep smaller stockpiles and avoid overproduction by responding immediately to orders from customers, creating a pull system. The goal of the Lean Six Sigma method is to eliminate waste and make the process better from the customer's point of view. By anticipating and catering to customers' wants and needs, businesses are able to boost output and, in turn, earnings. DMAIC, which stands for Define, Measure, Analyze, Improve, and Control, is the fundamental tool in Six Sigma. Research is conducted at each stage, ultimately leading to more efficient operations. The DMAIC framework was effectively implemented by the vegetable and fruit processing sector to pinpoint and remove inefficiencies and boost profits. One of the greatest business process improvement approaches for the food industry, the company's packaging process was optimized for efficiency, quality, and defect reduction using the Six Sigma DMAIC technique. Everything that happens in an industry, from the acquisition of raw materials to the delivery of the finished product to the consumer, was laid out in the defined phase. Many bottlenecks, including the physical moving of fruits and vegetables, overbuying stock, and waste being put into garbage, were detected after conducting an in-depth initial investigation and evaluating the SIPOC diagram. Value stream mapping was utilized throughout the measurement phase to classify each task in the industry as either value-added or non-value-added. Non-value-added operations and waiting time Time were also detected in the process. The fishbone diagram was used for root cause analysis in the analyze phase, which allowed for the identification of several bottlenecks and their causes. Vegetables were wasted primarily because of unused portions of previously purchased vegetables. The lack of machinery to move these vegetables was the main cause of the waste on the shop floor. As a result of not having a sorting and grinding machine, spoiled produce was ground in with the fresh stuff, resulting in a poor quality end result. The bottlenecks were removed, and the 5S approach was used to increase productivity during the phase of improvement. The 5S technique entails straightening up, rearranging, cleaning, standardizing, and maintaining a workplace. A conveyor belt was added, weighing devices were mandated, and the Kanban system was implemented to indicate bottlenecks, among other changes. Appropriate shelving and racks were established in the packaging area, and signs were maintained. It was proposed that discarded veggies be thrown into the compost bin or taken to the landfill. Also, it was recommended that the company expand by opening outlets in different parts of the city. At the final stage, known as control, all the changes made in the previous improvement stage had been properly implemented and were being kept up with. Before and after the implementation, performance was analyzed using control charts to ensure success. Errors were immediately addressed, and the procedure was adhered to consistently. In conclusion, the DMAIC approach was useful in methodically eliminating waste, pinpointing bottlenecks, and increasing output.